Okay, this, um, our subject is how to use Komunda to automate your workflow flow for document recognition and using OCR and AI. This is a really cool topic because AI is just in OCR, I guess. It's just so widely talked about, especially AI because of ChatGPT. There's so many uses for AI, and this is a cool one that Marcelo is going to explain. And anything to help that system go faster and not do it manually is very, very nice to learn. So I'm glad we are having this cool topic. Um, if you want to skip to the next slide, I would love to introduce our company, who we are. NT Consult was founded in 2003, which is just over 20 years of being in the software development world. We are headquartered in San Diego, and we have over 500 technology team members scattered throughout eight different countries, mostly in Latin America. We live and breathe in the business process automation space. So Marcelo is one of our um technology experts and he's been on many different accounts he will introduce himself in a little bit but we are glad to have you he is part of nt console as well and he will be our expert today in all things kamunda do you want to go to the next slide so we took over hosting the West Coast meetup after hearing that the group was losing its leadership. So we volunteered to take over considering San Diego is our headquarters and because of our platinum partnership with Comunda. So the goals of this meet, these meetups is to develop a line of communication with you, the Comunda users and our developers. So we're excited to host many more of these events and always welcome suggestions and talk of speakers and topics you would like to discuss. We, um, like I said, our platinum partnership in 2021, we came, we became the first platinum partner in both North and South America. And we've continued that consecutively uh, for both years, 2021, 2022, and again here in 2023. And we have the privilege of being the only reseller in Latin America. So that is Super fun for our company to work so closely with Comunda and super nice that we have so many experts that we can call on whenever we need. So now we will go into the presentation. Marcelo is one of our experts here. Oh yeah, the tech stack. These are all of the, the technologies we work on. We, uh, like it says in the process automation and low code area, we work on Comunda, but we have many areas of expertise, of course. So that is what we do. And we would love to share more with you after the presentation if you would like to talk about anything. So go ahead and take it away, Marcelo. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my presentation. Uh, today, I will talk about how to use Kamunda to automate your workflow for document recognition using OCR and AI. Uh, but first of all, uh, let me introduce a few words about my own background. Uh, I'm Marcel, I'm a Brazilian, and I'm speaking from Sao Paulo. Uh, I'm a computer engineer, a BPM expert, and I have been working in software development since 2005. I have over 15 years of experience in software development projects. And my knowledge, of course, is focused in, in BPM, but I have some skills in, in Java and .NET development. Uh, in my personal life, I, I'm a father. I, I have a beautiful daughter, uh, very good to start things. Uh, finish most of them, sometimes well, sometimes not, but uh, I'm always keeping working. I, I really like to run in outdoor, uh, play guitar. Uh, I like to develop games and play games and of course traveling. Uh, my contacts are, are available in this slide, but feel free to, to join to my LinkedIn page. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message I, I, really, I really like to answer uh, every message that I receive. Uh, 
The purpose of uh, this presentation is to talk about how to use Kamon to orchestrate a workflow using OCR. And my plan is cover in the next five or 10 minutes uh, the, the, this sequence, these, these topics. Uh, and in the end of my presentation, uh, I will start uh, uh, a demonstration using the Camunda and a real application using uh, AI and OCR. OCR. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to make clear that I'm not an expert in OCR technology and even less in uh, artificial intelligence. However, I, I need to brush up some aspects of these technologies to level uh, our understand. Uh, OCR is uh, optical character recognition. Uh, it is a, a technology that converts images and scanned documents into machine readable text. Uh, using OCR, uh, we can uh, have some softwares that analyze the visual elements of a document, uh, such shapes and patterns, and recognize this information and extract some data for, for use in other applications. Uh, OCR have some stages. Uh, I, I divide the, the OCR algorithms in four stages. The first one is the process to capture the, the image. Uh, in that moment, uh, we are scanning a document using a camera or a scanner and the, uh, and the image that we, we captured contains some data that we need to to extract to use in the next stage. Uh, in order to pre the pre-processing step, we, we are may involve some tasks like uh, noise reductions, uh, image notations, or perspective corrections to improve the OCR accuracy. Uh, to do so in the feature extraction, uh, the OCR software analyze the, the image to identify uh, any any issue or any problem. And if uh, nothing wrong happened in this stage, uh, we are able to identify uh, individual characters or some text blocks uh, and applying some algorithms for character recognition or text extractions. In the end of this process, we, we go to the post-processing stage uh, when we we apply some techniques to improve the accuracy and the usability of the extract content. At the end of this whole process, we will have a recognized text uh, which can be stored in different formats. Uh, sometimes you can save these information in plain text files or PDF or any other edit edit editable document. Uh, in the next slide, uh, my plans talk about the artificial intelligence. Of course, I'm not an expert and, uh, and probably uh, AI is the topic of the moment uh, with many technologies being developed in parallel. I do like to talk for, I really like to talk for, for hours on this topic, but to keep our, our agenda, I will just make a few comments about machine learning. Uh, because we are using machine learning algorithm in this POC. Uh, machine learning is uh, a branch of AI that enable cap computers to learn and make predictions or decisions without uh, explicit programming. Uh, it involves training algorithms to analyze data, identify partners and make informed predictions or take some actions. And that is the exactly uh, connection that I really need to use for uh, make the connection with OCR tools. Uh, in the next slide, I will talk about the Amazon Text Rack, and this is a powerful tool that we are using in the in the demonstration. And the Text Rack uh, is the tool. Uh, provided by Amazon uh, Web Services. Uh, and this tool util, uh, utilizes OCR technology to extract text, 
uh, and in data from scanned documents, uh, it automatically detect and extract information. Uh, but it also use machine learning algorithms to identify partners and improve the quality of the extracted content. So we can use the text the text rack to do questions for a document and using these questions we can capture the results and use these results uh, in our workflow. Uh, the other positive point about the text rack is uh, this to provide an API and using this API we, we are able to use the standard development kit to integrate this feature into our own application. Uh, before uh, we start the demo, I need to talk uh, a little about Camunda, and I want to talk about how how is the the Camunda architecture. Uh, Camunda provides for us uh, a, a, a tool for modeling process, uh, and we have two powerful tools for it. The first one is the Camunda Modeler, and the second one is the Camwimo. Uh, Camwimo is the version of Camunda Modeler available for web applications and for collaborative uh, work. Uh, when we create a workflow using Camunda Modeler or Camunda Camwimo, uh, we, we are executing this workflow using the Camunda engine and the engine is responsible for execute everything that we, we define when we design the process. Uh, integrated to the engine, we have the task list or our custom application. And this is a business uses when we have the, the feature to execute some tasks that we have defined in the, in the workflow that we create. Uh, we have to uh, a cockpit, uh, and this cockpit is a dashboard uh, when we can have the possibility to monitor activities in real time. Uh, this tool can analyze some uh, the data generated in the process, and if necessary, we can have we can do any updates or change the value of any process variable in the process, uh, as expected. All information generated in the execution of the process is stored in the database. And Camunda 7 uses a SQL database to restore the information. And using this information, uh, we are able to build uh, any report uh, or have access to more detailed information about our, our process using the Camunda Optimize. Okay, uh, now to restart the demo, uh, we need to talk about the, the scenario that we have and why we are using Camunda to orchestrate uh, uh, OCR workflows and AI. Uh, we have some contracts and some forms used in the process and we need to capture data from, from both documents. For it, uh, we need to use a business rule to identify the type of document. And for, for this business use, I am using a decision table to define uh, if the document that we are uh, scanner, we are using the OCR process is a contract or a form. Uh, we will have some user tasks. So the user must identify uh, the document. The user have the ability to build uh, some filters or create new queries in the OCR and AI extraction. Uh, we create uh, a business rules in the workflow. Uh, if we have any task, uh, any, any document, any information that we extract uh, above 70%, 70 uh, it should be automatically approved. Otherwise, an approval flow must be implemented. Uh, and in the end of the process, uh, we will have a report generated. Basically, we are saving in a document all content that we are extracting using the OCR process and the AI. 
And let me stop to share my, my presentation and let's start to do the, the magic. Uh, first of all, uh, let me show how the workflow is modeled. Uh, this is the main workflow, the main flow that we are using. Uh, when we start the, the process, we are uploading some documents. And after that, we are running uh, a DMN, a decision table. And this decision table basically have one input, the, the template of the document, if it's a contract or a form. And the output of this DMN is uh, a query, uh, the page when we are executing this query. And if we have some validations, we are uh, uh, informing the validator here. I have two types of documents, or I have contracts, or I have forms. And in the query column, I have the, the query that I am using in the OCR engine, uh, the page of the document, and if we, I create any validation, the validation is here. Returning to the workflow, uh, after uh, run the, the decision table, we, we have a user task. And in this user task, the user uh, will see the result of the DMN, all standard queries created, and we have the option to add or remove one of these queries. After that, uh, we are calling a super process, and this super process is this next order flow. Uh, when we upload the, the document, we send the document to the OCR engine, we collect some information. If everything is OK, we follow to the formalized task. And in the end of the formalized task, we export the results to the report. Uh, if we have any problem here in the collect information, uh, we have a, a, a user's task to extract it manually. And in this user task, I can approve or I can reject the task. Uh, if I reject, the process will be ended here. If not, return to the formalize. And in the formalize, uh, again, I have another uh, approval workflow. Uh, if I have something wrong, I can reject or approve the, the, the content to, to go to the report task. Basically, uh, in all service tasks, we are calling some delegate expressions, and each delegate contain uh, a Java CRES associated to it. Uh, this is running in a Java Spring Boot application. Uh, nothing special here. Uh, Camunda 7.18.0 in Enterprise Edition. Uh, Java 15, uh, Maven Computing in 15. Uh, all the standard uh, dependencies are added here. And in my application YAML file, uh, I have the, the, the link for, for, the, for the, I have here the link for the, the web service that we are using to call the OCR and the AI engine. And, other important thing that I must to share with you before I start the demo is the format of the contract and the format of the form that we are using. Uh, so I have here two types of document. The first one is a contract. The second one is a form. And uh, about this document, my apologies about the content. Uh, I know it is in Portuguese, uh, it's my native language, and I couldn't get an example of this document in English. But the important thing here is uh, it works for the demo, uh, no matter the language that we are using. Uh, if I change the document for, for other contract in English, uh, the demo will work without any problem. Uh, now, uh, let me show uh, how to restart uh, this, this workflow in Camunda. I have here uh, in my backlog folder, 
uh, a contract is the same file that we are seeing here and I have the form the form uh, information here uh, basically to restart the process I need to copy my contract folder to my to do folder and when I did it if I came to my come on the dashboard here and check the 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 filing process process i will see that the upload process is executed uh, the the dmn is executed and right now the token is stopped here in the create queries and in this task i have a form let me switch to the task list view if i reload this page i can see the query the create query task here and when i claim my user i can see the contract that i upload and some queries these queries here is basically the same queries that i have here in the decision table so uh, because this document that i submit is a contract uh, we are loading these queries we are trying to find the contract number in page one uh, we are trying to find the SAP contract number in page one and etc. Uh, I can add or remove any queries. And if I add a, a query, basically, basically what I need to do is create a question for, for the AI and the AI will execute this question in the document. And if the information is available, uh, it will return to the process as a variable. If not, I will receive uh, an error in this filter. Uh, if I don't want to, to add anything, I, I just need to remove the information. And when I finish everything that I need to do in this, in this form, basically I need to complete the task. Return work. Uh, the task move to the process and open the process. Uh, we pass by the first task. We send the document for the OCR uh, web service. Let me reload the page. Uh, right now we are collecting the, the, the data from the document. If I enter in the instance, I will see the name of the file, if we have any error code, uh, the job ID that we are executing and all queries that we have in the in the pipeline and reloading the 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 the, the cockpit uh, the token moved from the from the collect uh, document task to the extract that that means that the AI run the OCR uh, the OCR uh, execute everything, collect and, and extract the information. However, uh, it found an error in the task. And let's see what's happened here. Uh, let's move to, to the task list again. And in the extract task, I can see here uh, that all information was collected. However, some of these informations aren't, aren't uh, uh, with a, a currency level good enough to be approved uh, automatically. That means that I need to check if this information is right in the document. So in page one, I'm looking for uh, the number of contract. Uh, this number is one, two, three, da, da, da. Uh, return to the contract. I can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero, zero. It's exactly the same. That means that the OCR extract collect correct the information. However, for any reason, probably the quality of the, the image, the accuracy is not good enough. Uh, the same thing happened here in the in the written his name number. Uh, let me check this information in page eight. So if I scroll the doc into page eight, uh, okay. This is the, the witness uh, sign. Uh, the CPF is the social ID in, in Brazil, 787-576. Uh, 
uh, return to the task list, 785576, uh, 13, exactly the same information. That sounds good to me. Uh, in this in this in this form, I have the option to let me reorganize my 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 screen. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, in that moment, we have the option to approve or reprove the document. Uh, because I validate all information, I will approve this, this, this task, return to the task list, basically I need to complete. If I want to reprove, I will flag this option here. When I complete it, uh, if I reload the task, this is something that happens so fast that the token isn't available here, but I can see in the history, that the the task follow until the the end of the workflow so uh, the task follow this path here and complete the the, the entire process to validate uh, if everything works fine let me check the, the the done folder and here i have the the same contract that we are using in the demo and a new file created here to report all information that we extract. Uh, the same process can be applied for the other type of document that I have. For example, if I want to submit the OCR process for this form, basically what I need to do is copy the content of this folder to my to-do folder. And when I did it, if I return here, I will start a new instance right now for a form document again i have a user task here and in this user task i have other filters uh, these other filters are completely different from the first one because right now the decision table is running for forms and we are adding these new filters uh, i can remove or add any other filter for example uh, let me remove this one here i want to remove the the line 20 and the line 19 and go ahead when i complete it the workflow is start the super process and again we are collecting the information from the if something wrong happens, a new user task will be generated. If not, the approval will follow until the, the report task. Uh, let me reload the, the UI. Okay, the, the web service is running yet. Uh, sometimes we need to, to wait because we are calling a, an API in Amazon and sometimes this is not very fast. Okay, again, we have a problem with the document. Let me check the content. Okay, uh, most of this information is okay, but I have two informations here. I have two fields, uh, the, the field number nine and the field number 11 that the OCR aren't able to extract. And more two fields, that the OCR extract, however, the accuracy level is not isn't good enough for for the automate automate process. Uh, right now, I have to decide if I want to insert this information or if I will discard the task. For this form, I will discard just to show that when I discard the task, the token that was stopped here will go to the 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 discard document end and the process will end uh, to finish my presentation uh, to finish to finish the demo uh, i i really believe that camunda solve most uh, complex automations uh, and making process of orchestration for end-to-end -end. 
and using Camunda with OCR uh, that help us to save time because uh, we don't need to extract all content, we don't need to validate all content, and this combination make our process very fast. Together, Camunda, OCR, and AI enable an efficient, uh, an efficient document management uh, for data extraction and automated information process. Of course, the OCR accuracy depends on factors like uh, image quality, the, the type, the font type, uh, and other aspects. Uh, but, but using AI integrated to your workflow, it's possible to improve uh, the data accuracy. And Camunda works very well integrating this solution. Uh, now, uh, I believe that it's a good moment to have uh, a QA session. Uh, let me stop to share. Let me return to share the presentation. And I am feel happy questions about this demo. Thank you so much, Marcelo. That was really cool that you could show a live demo of Camunda being used. Super cool. How did you get into Camunda? As pe if people have any questions, we would love to answer them, but I would love to know how, like what got you into Camunda, Marcelo? I, I, I work with uh, process automation since 2005, 2006. Yeah. I started to work in other BPMSs, but in 2016, I have the opportunity to work in my first Camunda project. Mm -hmm. it, it was a, a project to automate uh, uh, workflow for 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 a bank a bank service, and since then uh, I, I still work with Camunda. I I don't see much reason to work uh, an automate process using other BPMS. Camunda provide all solutions that I need that I want. Cool. Well, that's pretty cool. I um I'm not as familiar with Camunda because I'm not a developer, but it's always interesting to get one of these demos every so often so I can learn more about Camunda. Camunda is a super cool platform. So Marcelo would love to answer any questions. If anybody has any, we will stay on for, um, for however long you need. But if you have any questions about Camunda implementation, Marcelo also is a great guy to contact and me, uh, we can help. You can visit our website, ntconsultcorp.com or email me or Marcelo. His email was at the beginning of the presentation, but marcelo.leopengenio at ntconsult.com. So we would love to answer questions. Uh, what has been your favorite project to work on, Marcelo? Oh, every, 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 every new project is a challenger. <laughs> uh, it, it's hard. It, it, it's it's hard to say what's my favorite project. Work, work with AI and OCR is something yeah. very cool. But uh, using Camunda, you can automate everything. Yeah. So just just for fun, in, in the in the past, I create a, a workflow uh, that automate uh, the lights of my home. Oh, cool. Make a, so, uh, a smart home. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did my 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 smart home <laughs> application here in my in my house using Camunda just for fun. That is awesome, uh, Marcel. Go ahead and uh, write your email down in the chat. Oh, there we go, Gabriela. Thank you for a question, Marcelo. What challenges do you see for implementing AI and Camunda today? Okay, uh, as I said, AI is the is the the topic of the moment. Yeah, everybody sure. is talking about AI, and we we are starting to work with AI in Camunda. But uh, I, I see much value using AI in Camunda because uh, it, it, it's like. Uh, AI complement the, the Camunda uh, with the ability to do something that Camunda aren't able to do before it. 
we are doing some tests in, in our last uh, using Camunda with chat GPT. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this team was using Camunda and Amazon text React, but we are able to solve any problems and a, a lot of new prob a lot of problems that we are wasting much time and using Camunda, this is more fast, more efficient. Yeah. Uh, and, and I really believe that this is the future for process orchestration. Cool. AI is huge. It's a, it's a major topic in today's industry. Thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate your love and support. Um, great work. Can you share the source for this POC, Marcelo? I believe that we can share. I just need to check if yeah. <laughs> uh, we have any 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 valid uh, any information that cannot be shared. But uh, if it's possible, uh, of course, we we will share the the link yeah. in the GitHub. We are going to have have a follow up email after um, probably next week, just saying thank you for being here for your support, but we can also include whatever Marcel left out, um, the source of the POC, other questions that you have. Hey, uh, uh, I, I stopped to share the, the presentation just to see the, the chat. And oh, I'm you are still sharing your week. screen, if, <laughs> but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, I do want to say that you guys are welcome to come to KamundaCon. We will see you there. We're going to be one of the sponsors at KamundaCon, so we will have a booth. Come up to me and Marcelo if we make it there with you. It will be in New York, but please go to the virtual KamundaCon. That will be fun. Oh, that's a great question, Jonathan. Do you have an answer? Oh, the recording? Yes, we can add the recording link to the email as well. Uh, it will probably be posted on YouTube, so it will be an easier source to access, Mark. Uh, Marcelo, do you see Jonathan's question? Yeah, Jonathan, uh, start to use Camunda. It's not so hard. Of course, you need to, to okay. know uh, a little bit about the development process and how the workflow works using the BPM notation. But if you have any expertise, any, any experience working with Java, uh, .NET, or any other program language, and if you understand how to model uh, a workflow using BPM and notation, uh, you can start and you can develop uh, your application using Camunda. Camunda 7 is free to use, right? If you're not using it for like, business yeah business. Uh, we, we we have two two versions of Camunda 7 we have the Camunda community the the, the open source version yeah and we have the Camunda enterprise uh for this demo i use Camunda enterprise yeah because okay. i i want to have access to so, some features that are not available in in Camunda community but uh to start uh to use Camunda to start to study Camunda community will will be a uh, uh, a good choice. Yeah, and it's going away in a couple of years. So this is a great time to get into the Camunda community for free. Because <laughs> Camunda 8, you have to pay for, right? Yeah, Camunda 8. Uh, it's the new version of Camunda. It's a, a completely different product. Yeah. Uh, it's cloud-based. Uh, and I, I'm having uh, an amazing experience trying to convert this presentation to Camunda 8 because change a little uh, bit how the things works in the service task. But uh, if you want to, to start using Camunda 8, this isn't not a problem. It's, it's a good idea because yeah. it's a new product, a new paradigm. Yeah, and it's the future uh, and, of Camunda. That's what it is. And it's the future. And yeah. it's the future. Yeah. Who needs an iPhone 7 when you get an iPhone 14? Gotta, gotta yeah. be on the upgrades. That was great questions. Thank you guys for participating. 
Uh, Guilherme, share with us the, the link for download uh, Camunda 8. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Guilherme. Camunda download. Lots of, uh, lots of things that are available in the Camunda community. Lots of, lots of things. Um, we are excited to host many more events like this. So we would welcome any suggestions of speakers and topics you would like us to discuss. We are open to suggestions. So in the email you can get, you can go ahead and reply to that or just email me or Marcelo about things that you are interested in or uh, people you wanna hear from. We are here to support you as a community. Uh, if there's any more questions, we will stay on for a couple more moments. But if there's any more questions, go ahead and say them. But if not, thank you for being here. We really appreciate your support. And we hopefully we will see you at the next one.